One thing I'm asked about often is how I can justify condemning the cancel culture of Twitter while simultaneously calling for Kathleen Kennedy and her woke acolytes to be fired. At first blush, it may seem like this old space pirate is just a hypocrite. It seems like me and my crew have no principle. Well, I guess I'm a little out of my league here. Oh, there is just one more thing, Lieutenant. On the other hand, there is a major distinction between our call for action and the calls from the troglodyte Twitter mob. You see, when the fandom menace calls for Kathleen or Pablo Hidalgo to be fired, it is for story purposes. It's because we don't think they're doing a good job within the realm of Star Wars. Certainly, there are outliers, but as a general rule, we only respond when we don't like the product they are making. This is terrible. Really? Yes. Yes. Quite terrible. As an example, a while ago, we learned that Dave Filoni was spouting woke talking points at a conference a few years ago, and largely the fan base ignored it, because the wokesters, of course, agree with what he was saying, and the fandom menace doesn't care what people believe in their own private lives. We just don't want them pushing their beliefs into places where those beliefs don't belong. In other words, you're free to think what you want, just keep that crap out of things like Star Wars or Ghostbusters. We don't take kindly to your types in here. Now, contrast that to the way the Twitter mob approaches things. When Gina Carano became their target, it had nothing whatsoever to do with the product on the screen. It was entirely what she was saying outside of her career at Star Wars. It was the fact that what she said did not agree with the SJW worldview. In other words, they weren't concerned with Star Wars, they are fighting a political battle. And to them, franchises like Star Wars and Marvel are just weapons. He's gonna need something a lot bigger to get through this. What is that, a bazooka? I've said it many times before, these people don't buy merchandise or movie tickets, not like the hardcore fans anyway. They aren't here to keep a franchise afloat, they're not here to support something like Star Wars, they simply swoop in on a franchise, hollow it out with their moral puritanism, chasing out the unclean, people like Gina Carano, and then they move on to something else because they'll never be satisfied. Gina Carano is not alone because they must always have a target. They're convinced that they're saving the world one cancellation at a time as they suck the life force out of our culture. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern, a virus. help prove my point about the insatiable beast that is the Twitter cancel mob, here are a few ongoing cancellations I've read about recently that are happening within the orbit of Star Wars, Marvel, and DC. First off, we've got Sebastian Stan. This article from Giant Freakin' Robot says Sebastian Stan getting cancelled for racist accusations. Ow. Dear God, no! Sebastian Stan is at the top of his career, but his fans may have had enough. Recently, the hashtag, Rest in Peace Sebastian Stan, began trending on Twitter. 
his fans dropped into the trending topic, worried about his well-being, only to discover that others had uncovered activity from Stan's Instagram account that appears to support racism. Worse yet, this isn't the first time Stan's behavior has been called into question and earned him a trending hashtag. Well, there it is, folks. If you thought it was bad when Gina Carano was fired simply for voicing her opinions on social media, Sebastian Stan is on the chopping block simply for hitting the like button. What the hell is wrong with you people? A little further down in the article, we can see a summary of what it was he liked. This Twitter user says that Stan liked a video about a guy saying white folks should be allowed to drop N-bombs. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? Well, let's just unperson him right now then. The banks should stop holding his money, the grocery stores should stop serving him food, and auto mechanics should refuse to change his oil or change his tires, because how dare he commit one of the cardinal sins of the Church of Latter-day Wokeness. Wicked child! According to SJW scripture, the fact that Sebastian Stan has ever behaved in a way that doesn't agree with them disqualifies him from pretending to be the Winter Soldier, or Luke Skywalker if he ever gets around to that role. Another celebrity who is in the cancellation crosshairs is Wonder Woman herself, Gal Gadot. This article is from a few weeks ago on Epic Stream. It reads, Gal Gadot is the latest victim of cancel culture amid Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Before I go on, we are not going to touch the topics mentioned in these articles with a 10-foot pole. This is not a political channel. In fact, I advocate for the opposite. I want to keep politics as far out of entertainment as possible, so that it can become a unifying force again within our culture. I always love interacting with viewers in the comment section, but if you feel the need to comment on this sort of thing, find somewhere else to do it. You have been warned. Anyhow, this is what Gal posted on Twitter. She said, My heart breaks. My country is at war. I worry for all kinds of people. This whole thing is a vicious cycle. She says her country deserves to live free and safe. And then she says their neighbors deserve the same. Once more, in the cheap seats, she says she wants everyone to be free and safe. Everyone. And then, she follows that up by praying for everyone involved. In response to that, here are just a couple of responses from the Twitter cesspool. If you support Gal Gadot, please hard block me. Seems reasonable. I mean, we may as well at this point. This person is clearly completely uninterested in nuance or conversation. This person simply wants anyone that disagrees with her worldview to not exist. Sounds tolerant and downright moral, don't you think? Sarcasm? You think? Or hey, check out this meme. The Twitter user here claims this is what Gal Gadot literally said. Well, I wish I could say that this sort of response shocks me, but these SJWs literally respond without nuance all the time. If they didn't blow things completely out of proportion, I'd wonder what the hell was going on. Why are you the way that you are? Honestly, every time I try to do something fun or exciting, you make it not that way. One final cancellation, which, at least for the moment, appears to have failed, we have Rosario Dawson, whose family was being sued by someone for discrimination. Rosario herself, aka Ahsoka Tano, tweeted just the other day, My family is pleased that this baseless suit is over, while the vast majority of the false claims had been voluntarily withdrawn last year, including every single false claim of discrimination, the court has now terminated the remainder of the case, allowing us all to move forward. If you aren't familiar with the story, 
basically a trans person who is a family friend of Rosario Dawson accused them all of discrimination. As a result, the Twitter mob has called for Rosario to be cancelled. Now that the court has ruled in Rosario's favor, sane people would settle down and stop accusing her of whatever it is she's supposed to be. But these people don't know how to turn it off. Stop that! This Twitter user says just goes to show that if you have enough money, you can get away with anything. Do you guys give up? Have you had enough pain? Never! The Twitter mob will never voluntarily quit because they don't actually care about franchises like Star Wars, Marvel, or DC. They don't care about the people that they hurt, and they don't even care about the people they claim they're trying to save. All they care about is the endorphin rush, the addictive feeling they get whenever they tweet something ideological which gets shared by the like-minded. Did we just become best friends? Yup! Well, let them have their fun. I don't wish this misery on anyone, but when actors like Sebastian Stan and Gal Gadot feel the brunt force of this mob, perhaps eventually more actors will turn against these wokesters. When that happens, we must rally around them the same way we did with Gina Carano, and together we can stand as a bulwark against these clowns who think they're saving the world. We will say the f***ing day. In the name of the Lord, we demand entrance to this sacred castle! I don't want to talk to you no more. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. If you do not open this door, we shall take this castle by force. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.